Well, we're spending our morning watching one of the most exciting biological phenomena any place to be seen, the bubble net feeding behavior of humpback whales. It is exciting in the extreme. You got a group of animals all traveling together. They know where the prey is before they dive or have some sense of it. A single animal breaks off from the group, dive down, it starts spiraling upwards and blowing that, uh, blowing air out of its blowhole, which rises up and creates that cylinder of bubbles. Now almost certainly they're doing that above where the fish are located because of the constraints on bubbles traveling to the surface. They can't be that deep when they deploy it and the fish tend to be located below that depth. So the remaining animals are, have to force that prey up into that pre-existing bubble net that's already been deployed. And so what seems to happen is one individual will vocalize in an effort to drive the fish up towards the surface while the remaining animals seem to flank that group of herring, that school of herring, tain them, corral them as they're being pushed into the existing bubble net. And then once that happens, just before they break the surface is when this occurs, they, the whales actually come from the outside of the bubble net, convene in the center and do that final push to the surface. Oh, wow. Whoa. Sweet! <laughs> 